A recent 5 on your side investigation showed what can go wrong in nursing homes when caregivers abuse their patients. Now a caregiver caught red-handed is red-faced. Danita Harris is here with more on that. Well, Leon, Chief Investigator Ron Regan first showed you the hidden camera video used in court today. It caused a former health care worker to admit she abused an elderly woman who was unable to bathe, clothe, or feed herself. Today, a judge sent the nursing assistant to prison. Outrageous. This is one of the worst situations I've ever seen. Harsh words from the judge today for 45 year old Virgin Caraballo, who was sentenced to 10 and a half years in prison. Caraballo worked for the Elizabeth Severance Prentice Center at Metro Health. She pleaded guilty to abusing a 78 year old patient there earlier this year. Her son set up a hidden camera to catch the abuse. Being roughly handled, uh, being pushed in the face, being turned upside down. To stand here and say you love your job and you thought that you treated her nicely is an insult. In November, she pleaded guilty to seven counts of abuse or neglect. Today, she was sentenced to 18 months for each count consecutively. And I think that you really have no remorse for, you, for your conduct. I'm happy with the decision. Uh, I got mixed emotions about it because obviously, you know, my mother was abused. The victim's son hopes this family's anguish over what happened sends a strong message to those who work with the elderly. It's going to tell nursing homes all around the world and AIDS all around the world that you cannot get away with it. You will go to jail if you hurt or abuse any elderly people. Caraballo is also required to relinquish her state nursing aid certificate, certificate certification, and she can't work in a facility that is a Medicaid provider. A second nurse's aide also pleaded guilty to misdemeanor assault. Meanwhile, the victim's family says they are getting ready for a civil case. Danita Harris, News Channel 5.